the city and, and what, what's going to be the expectations of us by the city. Uh, we have other work we're going to do, but you're welcome to go ahead and do that, and then you might take a break and everybody refuel or whatever. We'll talk about something else. Yeah. Well, I, I, I spent a good bit of time talking to Brian and to Peggy and to others, and, and in, in regard to law enforcement, they're saying they're not looking for policing. They're looking for a sheriff. But uh, what is 75, 80 percent of the... 30 uh, percent of all calls to 911 come from inside the city of Monticello. So that's going to require a good bit of time on their part. Somebody's got to answer those calls. And uh, I don't know what the sheriff has come up with as a figure that he's going to have to have. Uh, additionally, he was ballparking half a million, but I think there's a way to go to fine tune that. Yeah, well, ballparking's one thing, but well, some of those calls, Monticello sends a uh, sends an officer out to every medical call, so that's some of those calls mm -hmm. where Chester Department doesn't send somebody out for every medical call. No, no. so that's going to reduce that number some, but it's still going to be out there. It's still going to be higher, higher than what we're expecting. Now they did say they're going to give all their cars and all their equipment, all but the cars are all 250, 300,000 miles. And no, only, the, the three new ones is 50,000 miles. They got three new ones. Mm -hmm. 50,000 miles. I didn't know that. And, uh, and I, not going by what somebody said, mm -hmm. I looked at the, mm -hmm. unless the, I mean, whatever, the wrong. Well, that'll be. Unless the odometer's rolled over or something. Yeah. <laughs> but they're counting on that as a. Uh, they're counting on that transfer of equipment is kind of uh, uh, in kind of payment. Yeah, uh, <laughs> saving the wound, I guess, is what they well, call but, it. But how much is the payment? <laughs> I'm thinking that they don't give us the equipment, and call it a day. Yeah, because the, the they don't have any Are they on free and clear, or does a payment plan come with those? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll uh, probably get a payment. But just wondering if they pay cash or whether. That would be taking on the debt to pay them off. And Mike, I asked the question: Is what about the logistics? You got the court system. Who's going right. to be, who's going to collect the money for the court mm -hmm. system? When they have court, is it going to be a city court or is it going right. to come to a probate court or wherever? All kind of so it's a lot of logistics. Uh, I'm, I'm, I guess if anything, I'm disappointed that we had to sat down as a group That's and what, walk work through these problems. The, the timing just uh, in the vernacular of a teenager today, the timing just sucks. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, good news does. And now I hear on the street that they're going to do away with their street department. You know, I heard that same thing. So, you might, if you look at it, they might as well just go ahead and consolidate. Yeah. What are the five services? There are three services yeah, that three are three that have to be required to be considered. Uh, and what, what are three services that is water, gas, and electricity, are those three services, or is that just one service you I don't know the answer to that. That really shouldn't count that way, because it's just all, it's, you know, utilities. Utilities. utilities you really shouldn't should count that way. One We'd one have one. to research that to know. I thought there was five. It used to be parks was one, park. if you had a park. Well, they do have a park. And if you had police, well, if you had utilities. Fire and park, maybe. But they don't have, they won't have police, they don't have fire. Yeah, they got two points. But that's, I, they just got a lot of problems that they got to work through. But but those problems are going to spill over for us, too. And, and we've got people like Mr. Forsyth here who pays taxes in both places. <laughs> I was going to point out that 30% of their calls are escorting people to the bank. Yeah, at night. Oh, you can look yeah. at the numbers, they're in the paper every week. Yeah. Of what, but they go every night with the convenience stores and Family Dollar from mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ingalls to the bank. And I'm not saying that the county's going to have to do that or not yeah. have to do that, but that's something. But arrangements got to be made. Yeah. It's just, that's a lot of calls, and like you said, the medical calls. And um, anyway, the numbers are in the paper.